So guys, I told you I was going to teach you how to use TradingView. So on a laptop, normally I would just go to TradingView.com, okay? But on your phone, you don't have to go to TradingView.com. You just open the application and it starts working. So, but this is how I do it on a, on a laptop. I just go to charts. And then since I've been using BTC USDT, it will just show me. But if you don't have any chart yet, you can just come here, okay? Uh, and just add symbol, add symbol. So you can add BTC USDT. Okay, so you can search the various options here. Eh? This is cryptocurrency. You could you could have used forex. It works the same way. But if you use if you search for crypto cryptocurrencies, you see the various pairs. So BTC USD. But don't just select anyone. Look for a part. I recommend that you use BTC USDT. Where's BTC USDT? There are many BTC USDT, but there's a particular one I use so that you can always be in the same. You can be in synchrony with me. So BTC USDT should be here. So this is BTC USDT. Make sure it's BTC USDT and make sure it's showing Binance. Binance here because different platforms have different prices. They can differ by like ten ten dollar per time. So I use B Binance. So select Binance. Immediately you select it, you will see it on your watch list. Here, okay, it will be on your watch list. Okay. Uh -huh. So you see from our end here, uh, this is it. This is bit. This is. The particular, uh, I think this is it. This is the pair on my own. So if I click it like this, it will bring my charts. Okay. Okay. If I click it, it should bring up. Uh, it should bring up something like this, which is something like this. Okay. So, but on your phone, you'll be seeing something like this. This is what I believe you are going to see. You are going to see this. So when you this is how to add symbol, you click here, and then it will bring you exactly what I talked about. And then you just add BTC, and then you select BTC and Binance. So it is it here on my phone, USDT. So but then this is how it shows on my system. But on your own phone, to go to charts like this, you have to click. You have to click any one of these, okay? And you can always switch using these charts. Okay, using this chart, or you just click any one of these to select the particular one you want to view. And when you select it, if you want to go back to select another one, just click watch list and select another one. But now we are we are going to be using BTC USDT. So the chart is going to show like this. So the first thing you have to know about a chart is candlesticks patterns. Okay, so on a chart like this, you see uh, the market is divided into portions. And each candlestick, we call this thing a candlestick, represents a time frame. Now, what do I mean by a time frame? The time of the day, the time of the weeks and the months are divided in portions so that we can study the markets. So, in this case, each candlestick represents 15 minutes time frame. So, when you put the cursor on the candlestick, and the body of a candlestick, this is what it means. On this candlestick, it means, you see, there it has three basic structures. Let me look for a typical candlestick so that I can see it clearly. This is a typical candlestick. Uh, okay. A typical, let's use one of these. Let me show you something. There's something I, want, I need to show you. Because for any particular time frame, okay, you see that candle, it has tail. Some has, some have um upper, uh, it has a tail below, and then you can see the same structure up sometimes. They are called wicks. We call them wick. Wick. W I C K. Okay, so and this is what the candlestick means. For example, this particular time frame, if you put the can, if you put your cursor on it, or in your own case, you put your finger, you will see the details of the candle up here. Okay, so as I put it here, look at the details up. You see O, you see O, you see H, you see L, C. It means open, high, low, and then close. So it means this candlestick opened around here, which is six thousand seven hundred and. 10 you see it up there 0.5 and then it reached a height of 6713.5 within this time frame of 50 minutes and then it reached a lowest point of 6610 okay and then it finally closed around 6622 but when you see another green candlestick here it opened at 6730.5 it reached a lowest point of l 
it reached the highest point, a higher point, which is H of 6749.5, and then it finally closed, which is C here at 6631. So that's it about about candlestick. So this week means that it well, it travel high, then this one means it travel so low before it closed, but then this is the time frame. So like I told you, each candlestick represents a particular time frame, and you can switch from 15 minutes to one hour so that the market will be divided into portions of one one hour so each candlestick will represent one one hour so what i just explained is just the same way you see the candlestick here this is a typical candlestick this is the body of the candlestick this week up this is another week below this week means that the candlestick the, for a green candle which is which indicates that upward which indicates an upward movement and a red candle indicates a downward movement okay so in this upward movement it means the market opened around these points which is open you see up here this is opened at 6703.5 in this one hour time frame and then it reached the height of it reached the height a height of 6750 it reached the lowest point of 6693.5 and it reached a higher a high the highest point which is h of 6750 then it finally closed around 6000 which is 6734 you see that these values are changing as i'm moving the cursor because i'm moving the cursor to another candlestick so it's giving me the, the details of the candlestick that i'm on so i'm putting the cursor here so that i can see the details so that's it about that i already told you how to add symbol I've told you about candlestick. So the last thing I'll be telling you is how to draw a line. This is a line. There are two kinds of line basically that we draw. Okay. And they are the two lines are horizontal lines and trend lines. So you see this symbol here on your phone. It will look like something like this. It will look something like this on your phone. You see it. This is a line. This is it. On a landscape view, it will look like so. You just click this symbol and this is it here. So when you click it, it will bring this. These are the two tools we'll be using basically trend line and horizontal line so horizontal line when you click it if you just click any place you see that this is a horizontal line drawing on a um on a particular level here so this the horizontal line is drawn is drawn around 600 and 6635 price but sometimes i can just instruct you draw a horizontal line around maybe 6500 but since it might be difficult to get the particular price, just double click the line. You see the details. So this visibility, uh, click coordinates and then just adjust, uh, adjust the price to 6,500. And then click OK. So it has gone to 6,500. So I, because sometimes I might tell you to be watching the chart because I may not be around and I just tell you that anytime you see that price is approaching and it's very close to this um, blue line, just put a call across to me so that I can give you instruction on what to do. Okay. And sometimes I can tell you maybe price is coming from below. I can tell you that when you see that the price has reached this blue line, just sell. Sell your Bitcoin. I can give those instructions. That's why I'm telling you now. Okay. And by the way, trend line, this trend line, you can draw a trend line when you, you see you when you click it instead of a horizontal line, you are seeing a line that can be stretched in any angle. So you can see. So sometimes we draw trend lines like this. Trend lines is just joining different candlesticks. We use it to analyze the markets. Okay, I can tell you to draw a trend line like this. So just you can just play with it, play around with it. Okay. And like I told you, this price analysis, you don't necessarily have to be a pro at it. I have many friends who are into arbitrage and investment and they are making cool cash and they know they don't know about price analysis. They just ask for advice, they call me, they ask for advice, and that's how many, most of these guys they just get an expert and then they ask for advice here and there. But sometimes it's good to learn for yourself. But for now, I don't have the time yet to teach this. It can take weeks and months to really learn it. So maybe sometime later, if I put the training out, if you are interested, you can just put in for it. Okay. But for now, these are the basic things you need to know about trading view. And that's just it. Thank you very much. And God bless you. So any question, just let me know.